What up, world? It's Bros Day with the Network, and we're chilling today with Denver's very own Trav Rick. What's poppin', yo? What's good? What's good, bro? About to be an old head, you know what I'm saying? I'm already <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, when you get first start making, um, nigga, man, I first started making music, uh, not even professionally, when I was about 13 years old. You know what I'm saying? That was kind of like my getaway. I, I, I like everything about music, you know what I'm saying, moved me, so I felt like I need to start making music to move myself, you know what I'm saying? So I started when I was 13. Professionally, I started when I was about 13. You know so when you decide that you want to make us I always, like, I always knew I had a, like, music ability, you know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people don't know that, you know what I'm saying? I got music to my family, you know what I'm saying? Like, my, my grandfather, Herbert, he played alongside me. Real bright, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So nigga like, my I got a whole, like that whole side of my family living? is real, real musical. You know what I'm saying? Alive? I never really got, I, ne I never really got to meet him, but he was just always in my hood. You know what I'm saying? So I just started, week, I started making music. One year, one life. Life. So as an entertainer, I know it can get pretty discouraging, you know, like, you know, the ups and downs of it. What keeps you going? What keeps you motivated, man? Man, honestly, my team, my fans, my family, you know what I'm saying? I got a real strong support system when it comes to that. So, like, they keep me motivated even when I don't want to do it no more, you know what I'm saying? Like, it gets to points where I be like, man, I'm tired of this music shit, you know what I'm saying? But I only imagine, bro. then you come up with something like a, like a sometimes or like a pain, you know what I'm saying? And then it kind of just puts you back into the ball game, puts you back in that aspect of like why you do it, why you started to do it. So, you know what I'm saying? Like, even if it gets to a point where 
people don't even like my music. I feel like I do music forever. You know what I'm Definitely. saying? It's just a part of me now. No matter what. Yeah. yeah. That's so uh, one of your songs that keep me thinking and plotting, thinking <laughs> plotting to my head hurt <laughs> is Migraine. Yeah. You know? For real. I want y'all to check it out. Uh, Trevorich, Migraine. Migraine. Check it out. I tell him, on some real shit, I just want some real shit Caught up in this life, keep powering up till I can't feel shit For a tough, not being able to afford shit just makes you tougher Caught up between the girl of my dreams and being the man of another's And honestly, they just want honesty, and that's my policy But the lies of this life keep calling me I try to ignore and ignore, but I'm pretty sure Being this good at 24 deserves some Kobe hate Cause I knew I'd be this nice when I was eight But wait, I got my back to the win And I learned from a loss just to ensure I can't get back to the wins Appreciate them this time around Fantasize the crown, no lie, just lying down But I used to hate going to sleep Just cause I knew I'd wake up broke again Smoke again, just to calm my nerves And that's my word, nigga Valet the whip now, cause we made it off that curve, nigga I'm fucking bitches who take pride in trying to curve, niggas So of course when I get that paper, I'ma splurge But right now I'm just thinking Thinking and plotting, plotting and thinking out loud again And I can put my trust in you and you can put your trust in me, but how about it then? I guess that's why I just be thinking, plotting, plotting, thinking, thinking, plotting till my head hurts. I guess that's why I just be thinking, plotting, plotting, thinking, thinking, plotting till my head hurts. Uh, I mean, AP tape booming. And Priest getting Pandora shining. Squizzy Taylor killing shit. Shit, he ain't even reached his prime. And Jimmy came back from retirement. Like just in time to witness the sermon that could even have Eric go testify. And yes, and I'm back, nigga. White room padded down. Crazy, cause compared to some, they swear we live in lavish now. I couldn't stage this battle within myself. Even if I tried, but I know the shit in my head could probably move a summer madness crowd. Really though. And mom's telling me go to school. But she don't know the half of this rapping stuff. So I just laugh it up. Up, like, <laughs> I got fans in London and even more in South Africa And to pass this up would be like passing a baton to somebody you know just ain't fast enough But it's cool though, cause even if she lose hope, I never do so cause If I lose focus, then I lose hope and then you know, I lose it all Right now, I can't afford to fuck But I guess that's why I'm thinking, thinking and plotting, plotting and thinking out loud again And I can put my trust in you you could put your trust in me, well how about it then? I guess that's why I just be thinking, plotting, plotting, thinking, thinking, plotting till my head hurt. I guess that's why I just be thinking, plotting, plotting, thinking, thinking, plotting till my head hurt. Uh. What's up, it's Bros Day with the Network, and we're chilling with Trav Bridge. It's poppin'. Tell me a little about Squizzy, you know? How did all that come about? <laughs> Man, we always been like a tight clique, you know what I'm saying? Like, there are some of us who was gang members, you know what I'm saying? Some of us been gang banging, like, some of us was real deep in the book, some of us was athletes, you know what I'm saying? But we always had a brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? Before we knew what fraternities was about and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? We always just had a certain brotherhood to keep us connected. Like there's people on Squizzy who I've known since I was in the third grade. You know what I'm saying? And just like we always been, we've been boys for so long, we just came together and it was really like uh, something to give the people that wasn't all, all about gang bang, it wasn't all about you know what I'm saying? Being a dope boy it wasn't, Art, it's, yeah, all, it's, it's all, all aspects, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it's all aspects of just men, you know so, what I'm saying? We but I'm up. saying, like, the name Squizzy, though, how did that just, like, you know, Squizzy, it's just, it's very, yeah. obviously, y'all made it catchy. Like, <laughs> Squizzy, like, I say, what the heck, you know, like, how does that come about? You know, there's names from Hoods, 33rd, yeah. you know, you know 50, 
whatever, you know? There's a, there's a funny story behind Squizzy, how it came so. about, you know what I'm saying? Because at this point, my son, he was about one, one and a half. And like, we was all, you know, kind of chilling, trying to figure out, we got to come up with something. We got to come up with something. We about to have a label. We about to really push this. We about to push it. And it got to be exquisite. So we oh, were saying like, it got to be exquisite. And then my son kind of picked up and just started saying squizzy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And he's just like, squizzy, it got to be squizzy. You know what I'm saying? So we just like, all right, we're going to run with it. You know what I'm saying? That was, that was like kind of the, the intro so of Squizzy. I could even get the connection, though, like the Squizzy, Squizzy. You know, it's like exclusive, yeah. all kinds of stuff. You know, it's just different. Exactly. It's just different. You know what I'm saying? We try to make, even coming down to music, we try to just make what we feel, but we don't want it to sound like everybody else in the city. We don't want it to sound like everybody else in the industry. That's you know what I'm saying? I really, I really appreciate that for, yeah. for a fan, you know? Yeah. I don't want to hear the same shit from every single person. Exactly. You know? <laughs> So you used to go by Rocky, correct? Yes. You know? Why did you decide to change the Trap Rich, you know, change it up like that? So I went by Rocky, like I got my nickname when I went to college. You know what I'm saying? Like I was probably, it was two of us. There was only two of us, cause I went to Clark Atlanta University. So it was only two of us at Clark that was from Denver. So when I first got there, people was calling me Colorado. Yeah. Okay. People was calling me Denver. Yeah. And then they was like, what's y'all sports teams? And they call, start calling me Rocky. So that's kind of like set with me, you know what I'm saying? So when I came back home, I was running with Rocky. And then you start seeing like all these different new artists emerge, the ASAP Rockies, the Rocky Fresh, the Rocky Diamonds, you know what I'm saying? Like all of these Rockies started merging. So then I'm like, you know what? I'm just about to go by my real name. Like, I don't even know if a lot of people know Trev Rich is my real name. That's my government name, you know what I'm saying? So I was just like, fuck it, I'm gonna go be me. That's up. That was it. I like, I like both. Both, yeah, both. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, so you have a new project called uh, Rain in the Summer. Yeah. You know, tell us a little bit about that, you know, concept. Rain in the felt. Summer was kind of like, that was my project to where I could just sit in the studio and just, you know, vibe out. Yeah. You know, like a lot of times artists rush projects and I was just like, man, I got to come up with the dopest songs. I got to have the dopest artwork. I got to have the dopest videos. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just like that would that. That's Rain fine. in the Summer was kind of my intro, my, my national intro. I had the Heights series, the Heights 1, 2, and 3, you know what I'm saying? And Classic. then that kind of just built me up, built a platform for me to where I could just be like, all right, I'm going to put out this project. You know what I'm saying? And everybody wanted a Heights floor, but I was like, I'm going to switch it up. I actually heard you on an interview a while back or something like that, but it was a while back that I heard you talking about, that's what really caught me too when I became a fan, more, yeah. is when you were talking about like, you make music, like you used to try to make club bangers, you know, things like that. That was the Rocky you era. Know, yeah, <laughs> but then when you got to that time where it's like, you make music for yourself, not just for yourself, but unique music, you know? Yeah. Like it's, it's you, you know, it's not like you don't do it to make a club banger or a hood song yeah. or stuff like that, you know, a real song. It's just like what you're feeling at that time. When I heard that, I was like, damn, not, I could see it though over yeah. the years. So I seen you as Rocky. Exactly. You know? <laughs> into becoming Trev Rich, you uh -huh. know, to, to your own artist, you know? The biggest thing for me to do that was, like, you just gotta kinda sit down with yourself and figure out what you want in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, that, that's in any career aspect. So with music, it's kinda like, I could make trap music, you know what I'm saying? But there's already a Jeezy. Yeah, there's already a Jay-Z, there's already a Kanye West, there's already a Drake, there's already all of these artists who've been themselves and got on. And ain't nobody told my story. You know what I'm saying? So therefore, I'm like, let me tell my story and let me try to get to that platform. That's dope, man. That's real dope. Yeah. Especially for your fans and everything like that, because when, when you listen to your music, you actually can feel you, you know? Yeah. It's not like, oh, it's just some, like, you know, made up song, you're trying to make it this way because it's for the song. Yeah, you know? yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, so one of my favorite songs off of Rain in the Summer is Sometime. You yeah. Know? Sometime I, you, I, I just I need to think. That. I be on a high, need on the skin. Sometimes like, I just need to like repeat. Sometimes when to be with the click, I be with the click. I'm alone. Sometimes I, I feel like I'm the best out. Sometimes I feel like I can do like better. Sometimes I get in tune with the old me. Sometimes I be feeling like a new travel. Sometimes it's kind of like it's human but sometimes I want to feel like I'm the best out. Sometimes I feel like I can do better. Sometimes I get in tune with the old me. Sometimes I be feeling like a new travel. Sometimes it's kind of like it's human but sometimes it's the the epitome of me being a Gemini. You know what I'm saying? Like, I got good and bad on my neck because it's like two sides. So it's like, I want this, but I want this, I want this, but I want this, I want this, but I want this. You know what I'm saying? I'm a virgin. One thing is, I can say that it's for every person because every person thinks like that sometimes. Sometimes I don't get no fucks. Sometimes I just get too real. Sometimes it ain't really enough. Sometimes I want to give it up. Sometimes I want to take them out. But sometimes I want to tell them out. And one of my favorite videos that it's made, man, is in the past, is the pain, you know? 
I really enjoy the concept and stuff. And that's another thing that I respect him so much as an artist. Is that are not like the normal sound. Like you're not talking about the normal life things. Like when I see that video and like, the words and everything get on my man. Too much people can't create things like yeah. that, you know, like and actually see it that way. You know? We so, have fun. Like we shot we shot sometimes, I mean uh pain in California. You know what I'm saying? And it was like I've been to California a couple times, but I never really got to travel sometime around and look for spots that would be dope on camera and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? And then I got to have fun and do it with my people, so it just made the, it, it made the video come out way better, you know what I'm saying? Well, if y'all haven't got a chance to check it out, you know, get it right now, check out my pain, like that. Pack up and leave with my kids and... You don't want to be sold with no more. You don't want to be sold with, you don't want to be hopeless, you don't want to be lonely no more. You don't wanna be sober no more. You don't wanna be sober, you don't wanna be hopeless, you don't wanna be lonely no more. And this whole fucking year I've been suffering from depression A lot of first impressions and a lot of second guessing Got a thing for pretty women even though they always stress Voicemail and text, I just hope they get the message I've been chilling at the crib trying to come up with a plan Migraine at the migraine, chill again Let them hit the club, fuck it, I'ma hit this pin And my niggas think I'm changing, I just hope they understand Just cause I ain't with the games, that don't mean I ain't the same City up for grabs, everybody wanna claim Like I ain't have a six year reign Never in my veins, my higher than the rest But the lows of this game hit hard Off track like a train flip, lost my main bitch for the same same shit that I came with, she crazy now, I blame it. came through in the clutch like Ray Game 6, what you know about it, if I could take it all back, I wouldn't, a blessing and a lesson, loving everything I shouldn't, and now I'm doing every fucking thing they said I couldn't, used to have to share a meal, now we million dollar jookie, opposition gone hate, but well, fuck them all, let them drop a tick, cause your hate helped a lot, my nigga, but the truth, what the matter is, that the pain got us here, and you don't want to be sober no more. You really just show that to a little ass kid, dog. Yeah, you don't have to buy the shit, you don't have to get high to the shit. Man, you know that ain't how we play the game. Man. But look, man, this is the only way. We gotta get a out this bitch, man. Like, damn. All right, man. Let me up. I got it. You know the rules, bro. You know the you rules to the shit. Sober, no you don't wanna be sober, you don't wanna be hopeless, you don't wanna be lonely no more. So you pop that pill, pill for the pain. For the pain. That drink, drink for the pain. For the pain. That dang, dang for the pain. For the pain. Anything to make the pain go away, make the pain go I away. Smoke. I drank, I'm supposed to stop, but I can't. I'm a dog, I love hoes, and I'm addicted to money, cars, and clothes. I smoke, I drank, I'm supposed to stop, but I can't. I'm a dog, I love hoes, and I'm addicted to any and everything that make the pain go away. Anything that make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Anything that make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Anything to make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Anything to make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Back to semi-automatic, boom for the static. Get your ass up, that chain. Finesse in your bad bitch. Was the type to hide VHS's all in my mattress. Now I'm the type to hide with some actresses out in ass. Back when Weezy say how we shoot if it's plastic. I was trying to pop up on them hoes doing numbers. Like a mad quiz. Like years ahead, they fell behind like an ad lib. Aiming for your city, fuck that. Aim for the Atlas. If she all about dick, I'ma give her what she about. She all about time, I ain't got enough to count. My feet up off the ground, flipping in different positions. I always finish while she ride, cause I ain't never coming down. I'ma need a money count and slide a hundred to the bouncer. Y'all stepping on each other, we just stepping on these couches. Where the baddest bitch at? Where the baddest bitch at? That's your future wife, I ain't wife, a nigga relax. My head to the stars while I'm getting ahead from this broad who only give head to the stars. She must think I'm somebody. Young hotties with dumb bodies, they fuck a lot, but come hardly. You wanna ride and come hardly. I'm at this two for one party. Got dick and tongue, bitch. Fuck all that dumb shit. We can have some fun, but with your idea of fun, miss. I'm your favorite judge. And it's crazy because the pain made you love me. Now you don't want to be sober no more. You don't want to be sober. You don't want to be hopeless. You don't want to be lonely no more. You don't want to be sober no more. So you pop that pill for the pain. That drink for the pain. That day for the pain. Anything to make the pain go away, make the pain go away. I smoke. I drink. I'm supposed to stop, but I can't. I'm a dog, I love hoes, and I'm addicted to money, cars, and clothes. I smoke, I drink, I'm supposed to stop, but I can't. I'm a dog, I love hoes, and I'm addicted to any and everything that make the pain go away. Anything that make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Anything that make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Anything that make the pain go away, make the pain go away. Yo, you know what happened to that kid, dog? 
What's up? What's good? Bruh, little nigga OD, man. Damn. I seen it with my own two eyes. Fuck. Yeah, bro. We out of here, man. Shit I've been talking about, dog. Hey. Get the fuck up out of here. Let's do it, man. What up, Rose? Bros A with the network, and we're chilling with your favorite artist, Trevor X. What's poppin'? So what's up next for you, man? What should the world be looking out for? An EP. I got an EP coming real soon. Like, we've been working on it. Well, I've been working on it. I got like 40 songs in the deck right now. You know what I'm saying? That nobody's heard. You can give us a little, uh, maybe the name, if you, you know, maybe See, something like... The know, thing, the thing is, like, I don't even really have a name. Like, outside of my own project, you know what I'm saying? I've been like working on this Squizzy project. That's gonna drop. I can't wait, bro. I asked DJ Squizzy. Yeah. Drop, you know, like, you the, know, when is that coming? You know. The Squizzy project is gonna drop real soon. Like, just to, you know, what I'm saying, be honest. Like, we probably gonna start dropping songs here this this next week coming up. That's what's up. And then we gonna drop that's songs, try to get some videos, and then we just gonna put it out. But that's called the Wavy Bunch. Okay. <laughs> They got the Brady Bunch theme to it with all our pictures in it. It's, it's hey, going to so be crazy. Stay tuned for that. It just <laughs> gave us the exclusive Wavy Bunch. The Wavy know? Bunch. You know I'm what I'm saying? Squishy. I'm definitely going to stay tuned. Bro. Yeah, that's going to be... Out. We got new sound. We got new artists. You know what I'm saying? We got that's just... Up. Everything is new. You know what I'm saying? It's a whole new wave that we try to create and that's just give them something. We just try to stay with the times. Give them something that's going to keep them interested every time. That's our biggest thing. But as far as my own EP, my own EP is probably going to drop a little bit later in the year. You know what I'm saying? Probably around May. And uh, I, don't got a, I don't got a title for it yet, but it's going to be probably like a between seven and ten songs. You know what I'm saying? Because I got 40 in the cut. Yeah. I'm trying to hold on to some gems, but I'm still trying to give y'all what y'all want. You know what I'm saying? And this goes with what I was going to ask as well if, with that. Is you have like some mentors or role models that help you along the journey, especially with music, you know? Because I know you got a pretty cool management team yeah. going on, you know? That are like, who's there with you in the background, like to check them 40 songs, you gonna only choose down to 10? I know, right? That's a hard decision. <laughs> That's gonna be tough. And like I said, I got, a, I got a whole team, you know what I'm saying? Shout out the management team, shout out Squizzy. Like, my tester though, the funny thing is, my tester is my daughter. You know what I'm saying? Like my daughter is my tester. If she if she jam with it, usually the world jams with it. The first song she jammed with was sometimes, and that was the first song we put out off of the EP. So, you know what I'm saying? She's and then better. So she's two for two right now. You know what I'm saying? So my daughter, like just just family, family in general. You know what I'm saying? That is real, real love. People that really actually can tell you and care. You know? Exactly. That's up. Because a two year old don't have no filter. She's gonna tell you if it sucks. <laughs> Hey, so what are some of your future goals, though, man? How far are you trying to take this to? Man, I just got back from the Grammys. Like, we trying to go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, there and beyond. Like, it's so, it's like your influence on people. Like, I just see these stars and the type of music they made and people walking around with, like, 20 Grammys. You know what I'm saying? Like, the influence that you have on the world is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And to get to that point, like you have to, you have to be responsible. And you have to be responsible enough to say, I got this certain type of power and I'm gonna use it for this instead of this. You know what I'm saying? And I'm seeing people do that. That's dope for at the begin like at the type of the spot you're at in your career, with yeah. your age and stuff, you know, you can already feel that and understand that, you know, because that is very important. Like to be honest, like the music that I grew up with, you know, yeah. and the music that's still going on today is like Man, I could put in some trap music, wanna go trap, you know, on some gangsta shit, wanna exactly. be a gangster, you know. Or some feel good music and, and feel wanna good. feel good. Exactly. You know? like, and that's that's the best that's the best because like there's a song for every mood that you in. Yeah. And now being a new artist, you know what I'm saying, because music has been going on since the beginning of time, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like being a new artist, all I'm doing is recreating that song in a modernized way. Something that we could feel that our parents and grandparents didn't feel, you know what I'm saying? Cause it's, it's a different time. Like we got to be in the age of the internet, man. It took time, dedication. It did not happen overnight. And it's still, it's not just all gold, you know? Exactly. That everybody think everything, but I use it very often. Like, man, look at him, bro. Look at him, still, still, still dropping tracks, still going, still promote, still networking. I mean, See, I had a cool little thing. The whole overnight thing is like. She couldn't do it no more, so I went and got a new little thing. She do it all more, you can make me want to do it. You're going to get into the music and you're going to do the music. Don't do it for the money. I'm saying because I've been doing this for a long time. Please believe it, because my new bitch is bad. 
but it's been hours upon hours and dollars upon dollars the last 30 years yeah, invested to get to this. But the reason that I feel like it's starting to come back now is because you get in with you put, I mean, you, put, you get out with you put in. you gotta start rotating the money between the Denver music scene. If somebody charged for a feature, if they worth the song because, you know what I'm saying, obviously you want them on the song for a reason. You're just not gonna be like thinking of a song with like, you know, Jerry Richards and you don't want this and for no reason. You know what I'm saying? So if it's worth the feature, then pay that because that's gonna come back to you. That's gonna be your song. Yes, investing into yourself, investing into your song. Like it's time to get the top notch videos, the top notch quality the studio, the top notch beats, the top notch everything. Because like there's a difference between homeboy music and national music. And somebody like one of my mentors told me that. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Girl, what you wanna see me for? I got my money right now. Because it's like that homeboy music. You know what I'm saying? Like take it out of context. So homeboy music is like really consistent. Making something like. Me and my homies, you know what I'm saying? Like just me and my homies, like something you and your exactly. Only your homies is gonna understand. You know what I'm saying? But then when you become an artist and when you become creative, like a music of genius is taking that music that you and your homies understand and making the world understand. Yeah. So that's real, bro. And I really appreciate all the work you put in. Squeezy.